both can get it downfield. Jones on the cold second series of the game did just that, teaming with Roger Carr, who with Big Bird gives Baltimore one of the most feared long range combinations in the league. A flick of Jones' wrist and the ball was there. This one covered 68 yards as Jones to Carr continued where they left off last season. In 1975, these two hooked up on 89 and 90 yarders on successive Sundays. Carr was behind Ken Riley and never broke stride. On the very next play, Jones went for Carr again. Never mind that Carr had stepped out of bounds, for even if he had stayed in, the 88-yard play was nullified by offsetting penalties. The Colts for illegal procedure, the two, yes, Carr, rekindling the drive. Perhaps a bit overworked, Jones gave Carr a breather and turned to Glenn Doughty. One pass to number third, wide open behind number 23, Bernard Jackson, who took that one false step inside. On the 22-yard score, Carr got his fifth catch in 133rd yard as the Colts climb back to trail by three. Another look reveals that Jones got good protection. Carr was well behind Jackson and Jones didn't miss. Jones and Roger Carr once again weave their magic. Carr's dazzling speed converted a simple turn-in pattern into a 65-yard touchdown sprint. And Burt Jones was the first man on the scene to congratulate him. 